18th of October. Did you know it is World Menopause Day? Whoop whoop. Now you might be thinking, oh, whoop de do, menopause. That's a woman's thing. You know, we don't have to worry about that. The girls will take care of that. Well, I just wanted to jump on here today because it's World Menopause Day. And just say menopause affects actually everybody. Yes, the woman is at the centre of it all in that these changes are happening to her and her body and her mind and she's turning into a crazy woman and she doesn't know why. But that affects her personal relationships in a big way because you're suddenly with this woman who has turned into someone that's like, what's happened to you? Well, she can't help it. It's her hormones. Our hormones drive us and when a woman is going into menopause or she's in the perimenopause stage which is five to ten years before menopause is actually done menopause is when your periods finish there's a whole lot of time before that where things start going a bit topsy-turvy so men it's as much your problem is it is your woman's problem because she's with you and she needs your support and your understanding and she doesn't want to be a crazy woman so it's a it's a team effort to navigate through menopause and it's really great that now menopause is actually coming out <laughs> it's coming out of the closet because also women can't function at work when they're going through menopause, perimenopause, menopause itself, you know, it's like they've got broken sleep because of night sweats, the mood swings, they've got the weight gain, they're chronically tired. It's hugely challenging to function as a fully fledged human on firing on all cylinders when your hormones are up and down like a yo-yo. So it affects everybody. And it's brilliant that this is now coming out into the open because women need as much help and understanding and support around all this. And men actually go through a type of menopause as well because it's all related to hormones. So men, your testosterone levels will drop as well at some point in time. I don't know a lot about that side of things. Today is all about menopause. Now also, don't assume if you are a young woman and you are having all these symptoms, you could be feeling depressed, you could have weight gain, you could be having hot flushes, your periods could be all over the show. Don't assume it's not menopause or perimenopause. There are many, there are thousands of women in New Zealand, there are millions of women all around the world who are going into or have gone into menopause very early. Some women don't even have periods. You know, they could be 16 or 18 years old and they're never going to have periods. They are already postmenopausal because that's what their hormones have been read as. And that's what happened to me. At 28, my period stopped. Now, I had been going through a very chronic stress period in my life. And that's the other thing, your cortisol, your stress hormones play a massive part in A, if you might go into menopause early or how your body navigates menopause. Cortisol's literally a killer. And so with me, my situation went through a hugely stressful time. My period stopped and it was about nine months later. I thought, oh, I suppose I better go and see what this is all about. Now, I didn't know at that time I was predisposed to going into menopause early because I was only born with one ovary. And the chronic stress I had put myself through basically shut down my reproductive system. It wasn't required for my survival. So when I had my blood tests done, I was postmenopausal by the time I was 29. Now, the only symptoms I had was my periods had stopped. And yes, looking back now, I did have depression going on, um, but that was that was it. So just be mindful if you are, particularly if you're a young woman, 
go and get and you, you're just not sure you know crazy things are happening you're not feeling yourself go to your doctor and get your base hormone levels checked I mean ideally get a saliva test done because that can give you there's more than three hormone you know female hormones so saliva testing can actually test more hormones and give you a better base range but that gets done through alternative means not mainstream medicine but your doctor will be able to give you a hormone test to test your FSH and LH levels and that will give you an indication of where your hormones are in the whole menopause thing. If they say to you, you're too young, there's no need to do that test, please fight them over it and say, I just want to have the test, please. Because women can go into menopause before the age of 40, which is called premature menopause, and I come in, into that in my own situation. And early menopause is menopause before the age of 45. So, I mean, there's a massive range. Menopause is actually coming on earlier and earlier and earlier. And personally, I think it's a lot of lifestyle factors. We're living very stressful lives these days. It's our diets. It's, you know, all the additives and food, da 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 da, da. You're not going crazy. So, women, if you want to reach out and have a chat, I'm more than happy to have a talk with anybody who just wants to understand what's going on. I'm not a medical professional, but I have been around enough and I know enough of myself and my own body and, and people out there that can help, where it's just to have a listening ear and a bit of guidance. And guys, if your woman has turned into a crazy person and is not the woman that you first met, it's quite possibly she's perimenopausal and she needs all the love and support to help navigate through this as possible. I've written a book about my journey through premature menopause. I have not given birth to children, uh, but I am a mother, not in the traditional sense. So premature menopause was a catalyst of my life that transformed it massively. And I have lived a very fulfilling life without having my own children in my life. But I have uh, two very special heart children that don't live in my country and they already have a mother and a family. Uh, but you can read all about that if you're interested in my book, Silent Warrior Transformation. So it's how I navigated my premature menopause diagnosis. I've been on HRT for over 30 years. That's a whole nother story. But please reach out to me if you would like to have a chat about anything to do with, with menopause, perimenopause alternative ways of having children <laughs> I would love to hear from you and I will put the link below um, if you wish to go and have a look at maybe buying my book and yeah so happy menopause day